Hello and welcome to the tenth uh, tutorial in the series of tutorials on working with Zen Modeler. Those of you who've been watching my tutorials from the previous couple I will recognise the big C. What we're going to do in this tutorial is to look at how to get a texture onto our object and basic UV mapping. Now before we can actually even look at putting a texture on a surface or an object the texture itself has to be in a certain format and for that we need to use a program called DXTBMP you may have GIMP or Paint.net as long as it can generate DDS files which are used in the texturing stage of ZModeler right I have created a basic texture for our big C and I will now bring it into the DXTBMP program There it is. I'll just maximize that for a moment. You can see we have a big C there. <laughs> right, now I need to save this as a DDS texture. And I'm going to save it in the uh, folder structure that you created for your textures and your models, some what have you. So this is going to be uh, temp. Okay, choose for general textures. You need to choose the DDS DXT five. Okay, we can save that. Now we can close that one, and now we can bring the texture into the modeler. And we do this by opening the material browser, which is this little red ball up here. And we click it and we need to add a new texture it always has the default texture up there which is basically nothing you need to add a new texture and the way we add a texture is you have to specify the path to the texture in this window MJP <laughs> and also you need to ha add in curly brackets how you want Z modeler to handle your texture. I just want it to have specular highlighting, so it's diff underscore spec. Okay, we can enter that. Now we come down here and click this button to actually select the texture. Another window opens, click the add button. There is our template, our texture. Click open. That's fine. Make sure opaque is select. You don't want to see through it. Then OK. And an annoying little habit that Zed Modeler has is when you've added a texture into the material browser it enables the option below it just to click all them off that's okay now there are a couple of ways to apply to actually assign a texture to a, an object uh, I'll show you the both of them the first one the common one is to highlight your, ob your object your surface going in the status menu and click selected and apply that you can see that's now been selected and we click assign to selection and that has, had, has added our texture to the surface as you can see now it's a bit of a mess but anyway I'll show you the other way as well once you've defined a texture in your material browser you can close the material browser uh, look at your surface objects properties and under polygons the texture you can actually drop a list down and choose the texture out of the list right 
that is how you apply a texture to a surface or an object. Now UV mapping. What you need to do here is select under the surface menu, choose mapping and then edit UV. And you need to select the view of the surface that is directly facing you to line up with the, te the way you created the texture. So that, in this case, will be the front view. Just click it. A little window pops up giving you options for the UV mapping. Just click Generate New, and then OK. Now, in the perspective view, click that and go to UV Mapper. And then when the UV Mapper window is open under the material, click the material. You'll see there that we've got the grid and the C and also the texture underneath, so this is how we make that fit that. Highlight, uh, maximize the UV mapper window, scroll in a little bit, and obviously you can see we need to scale the object down a little to fit the texture. So in the modified menu, click scale, X and Y is on, that's fine, and just pull it down until it fits lengthways on the texture. You'll have to do this is a very very much a trial and error sort of thing, but you'll be able to perfect your own technique in time as you keep practicing this. And I'm just gonna scale it a little bit more horizontally to fit there. That should be just about fine, I think. About there. Yeah, that's great. And then we move it down over the texture so we can then scale the vertical axis, the Y axis. Try and get it into the middle if you possibly can. Back to the scale, the Y axis is set. Again, it's very much a trial and error sort of thing, this. Uh, a bit more. Let's have a look at that. That's about perfect, is that? Once you've got that on, just simply press enter to confirm that the UV mapping is correct. Uh, go back to the normal view and to perspective, and we will see that our item is fully and correctly mapped and UV mapped. Sounds complicated, but like, a, like many other things, it's very easy. Now you know how you can do it. See you in the next one.